viewers who are listening to me. Good morning, Fred, again. Good morning. May I just uh, state that yesterday we were sitting as the Senate Energy Committee. And one of the people that uh, came before us, one of the teams that came before us, was the um, Kenya Association of Manufacturers. With their CEO and the, the entire team, and we had mm, a lot of good um, engagement. One of the things we discussed was, do we need the investment being done by Ketraco and Adani? Do we need that partnership? Is there, is, there, is there a need for Kenya to go into this kind of arrangement? So, um, it is very clear that we've had massive blackouts. And some of these blackouts, they go to affect the entire country. And so, the Kenya Association of Manufacturers were telling us for smaller, uh, you know, factories, they they experience maybe one million loss mm -hmm. in terms of uh, your revenues because if you calculate how many times you've had to go to your diesel generators or how many times you've got to stay without doing any work and you still pay those workers because they are on your payroll uh, some of the going concerns are doing like one million but the bigger ones are doing 10 million uh, 30 million 20 million losses because of the instability of the power infrastructure. So the idea of stabilizing um, uh, offtake of power from where it is generated to the consumers through Ketraco is a very good idea. So Kenyans listening to me, we are going to the end product of this agreement according to the Kenya Association of Manufacturers is that we will have stability in terms of the um, offtake of power from where it is generated to your homes, to your factories, to your businesses, so that we have less of these problems. You know, in South Africa, uh, and I keep mentioning South Africa because uh, I, I had the delegation for the MPs mm -hmm. and senators who, who represent Kenya in the Pan-African Parliament in South Africa. In that place, we could be in Parliament, for Christ's sake, and there's a power blackout. Mm -hmm. We are in the Pan-African Parliament, the continent Parliament, and there is power blackout. And they say we are doing uh, rationing. So we are expecting the end product of this to be that there will be a more secure supply or transmission of power to your homes. So as far as uh, Kenya Association of Manufacturers is concerned, it's a good deal. It's a, it's a, it's a good idea. Execution of that deal is another story altogether. So execution of that deal is where now the, 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 the nuts and bolts come in. Uh, was there, um, you know, proper public participation? Uh, was there competitive bidding? Were all the provisions of uh, public partnership uh, uh, act? Uh, private public partnership act were they all uh, followed you know these issues that uh, are relevant to process this is where the challenge is and um, about the idea it's a good idea yeah and I think the I president is very right on that but about the process the process the mechanics of it I think um, those are the questions that and the I think public that's the needs, concern. That's, that's a needs concern. To, to look at. No one is questioning that, uh, that this public-private partnership, because it's even provided for within our laws. Law, uh, yeah. It is one way for Kenya to uh, pursue some of its interests and some of its development agenda. Yeah. Uh, no one is questioning that. Uh, the problem is that even the two gentlemen who have uh, declared their support and they're politically heavy, none of them has ad sought to address the issue of the process the, or the questions that Kenyans are asking. How come the issues you're raising, how come there was